the ICOC, we see mental health and psychosocial needs among our target groups, which are victims of violence, including sexual violence, people who've been wounded or acquired a physical disability as a result of conflict. We also see these needs in helpers, who are those that provide assistance to others within an affected community, among families of missing persons, and people deprived of their freedom, former detainees, and generally in people affected by emergencies. Singeza peke yangu kabisa. So ilibidi ni ni, ni niombe watoto wa majirani maana hatukuwa na watoto. Nilikaa na watoto wa majirani zangu wanaitwa mama Shiko kwa muda wa miaka mitatu. Mpaka hiyo hali nikuje nizoe pole pole. There is a great lack of awareness uh, around mental health and this includes people who have been exposed to violence themselves and, and every project that we have in ICOC um, has a component of awareness raising where we go out and do what we call psychoeducation. We explain typical normal uh, reactions to uh, having been through violent experiences and this is where we sometimes see that people come forward and say, actually, this explains a lot about how I feel. He almost advised me things are happening, but uh, let me be strong in my life. There's a lot, a lot of things I will can do it by myself. And then I look at him. Sometimes I, his species is moving in my mind there. And then I saw, I trust myself. I say I'm, I am able to do everything. So some of our interventions take place individually, one-to-one, -one, and increasingly also in groups. What we're seeing is that for many um, people affected by conflict, they don't necessarily need intense, long-term, one-to-one uh, exchanges with a professional mental health uh, practitioner, but uh, the peer support within a group can be uh, just as useful for some. So what takes place in a group is that you will be able to uh, see how others are coping, uh, others who have gone through similar difficulties, how they are coping. You will get uh, uh, stronger bonds between people, friendships. I'm going to talk to you about your friends. I'm going to talk to you about your friends. So first responders tend to be uh, very strong people who are willing to expose themselves to on a long in the long term to great levels of violence and suffering. They are brave in that sense because they are they're really uh, contributing to this work. What, what we want to make sure uh, is that they can sustain these efforts and that there's also a focus on their well-being uh, as because of this increased exposure to violence. We wrote a letter to ourselves later on after the program of help the helper. I read the letter, I understand that I need to stand on my own before going to help people. So that makes me to go back to university and continue to proceed my education. 
order to graduate. Integrating mental health and psychosocial support in other programs is really a win-win situation for both. I can take the example of uh, Nigeria where we, are, we have introduced a counselor uh, to uh, uh, provide support to the uh, children who are wounded uh, by conflict. And we have seen really a decrease in demand for painkillers after the, the counselor started uh, doing various activities with these children. So this is a very practical example of how um, MHPSS and the surgical team both have uh, something to gain from a collaboration.